Laidlaw here from the Southern Oregon Land Conservancy with today's edition of Outside Every Day with So Real. Now, many of you have probably heard leaves of three, leave it be, to help you identify poison oak when you're out and about. But poison oak can look lots of different ways based on where it's growing and what time of the year you're in. Um, so I'm gonna give you some tips today to identify it so that when you are out exploring, connecting with nature, you are not also connecting with a plant that will give you a rash. Um, so here we have a really cool snag tree. And I was gonna to talk to you about snag trees, but instead I'm gonna to talk to you about the poison oak that is growing all over this snag tree. Um, this big vine here coming up the side of the tree is actually poison oak. Um, we can see here that someone has done a little bit of mitigation. They've cut this, uh, but poison oak just loves to keep on coming back. And so what we can see here is that um, this habit of growing up a tree is pretty common, but poison oak can also grow as a low shrub, and we've got some coming in right here. Um, if you're in a shadier area, you'll often see when it's leafed out, it's got really big leaves. If you're in a sunny spot and it's leafed out, you'll see smaller leaves. Um, but this time of the year, there's no leaves at all. So how do you identify? Part of it is the growth habit. Like I said, you might see it growing up a tree, Part of it is that the twigs of the poison oak tend to keep a pretty consistent diameter down the length of the twig. So we can see this one here. It doesn't get narrower and narrower and narrower. Um, same with this one. This particular section of the twig, it does get a little bit narrower at the end, but compared to a lot of plants where you see a really distinctive thick stem tapering out to a small stem, we don't see that quite as much with poison ivy. And then we can also see it's just starting to leaf out. We've got some little teeny tiny leaves coming. And this time of the year, um, they will be a bright red, which is a really nice indicator. Um, and then they'll turn green during the middle of the season and then they'll go back to being red. Um, so when you're out exploring, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, do proceed with caution. Um, Poison oak especially loves to grow trail side or in disturbed areas. So a lot of the places that we might be going through are prime poison oak habitat. So just keep an eye out, um, but don't let it deter you from going outside and exploring.